Heard version 1.5 is now out, and this release brings a brand new um, services tab. And inside there, you can create everything from a you know a database server, Redis for your queues, search server for Laravel Scout, um, Min.io for um, simulating S3 uploads, um, even support for Laravel Reverb. So it's it does a whole lot of neat stuff. So let's take a look at this new update. So here I have Laravel Herd 1.5 installed, and now it has this services tab. This is available in the pro version only. Um, if you're not familiar with the pro version, I've done another video on it, and you can select one of these. I don't know how YouTube does it, um, but uh, you can check that out for more information on all the features the pro version does. Um, but for this one, let's take a look at the services. So you get a new way to add a service and down here you can select you know the different category um, and the different options so database mysql um, you can also set the port since i already have this one installed i'm going to go to the next one so cache you can do redis um, you can do uh, queues you can do a real time with um, and that's for reverb which you know reverb just came out so this already has support which is super nice um, you can do a search server like milli search and that integrates right with you know your Laravel scout so you can start you know doing everything locally and then finally a storage server which is uh, min.io or min.io and uh, that's great for like s3 uploads and things like that um, so we'll just go up to cache and we will create a redis cache server hit save and then close and then right here from your settings you already get the environmental variables you can just copy um, and you can also see the logs right there so it's it's pretty nice you know it's it's nice to have all this where you don't even have to deal with it um and we'll start a reverb server here it's downloading the server initializing it and then once it's been initialized you basically the same have all your settings right here um, and then you can also see the logs so it's a pretty sweet little update and it's going to prevent you from having to run like db engine or anything else for a local you know MySQL or any of these local services you're, you might be wanting to run. So definitely check out this update. Uh, it's available as of now. And uh, if you have the pro version, it's included. If you don't, I would consider updating, um, upgrading to the pro version because it uh, definitely saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle.